Last time on Next Level Chef. Go time. For today's challenge, amazing appetizers. With a beautiful craft cocktail. You messed this up, bro. No excuses. The winner of the time token is the chicken lollipops. Let's go! Which dish are you going to eliminate? Cucumber, mash, and wagyu beef. Vinny. I love you guys. And tonight. Go! You'll all be working with an ingredient that can be found on a menu of a three Michelin star restaurant or the plate of a three-year-old. It's cheese. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. Get your salmon in the pan. I am 100% going to elimination. Going in. Now. Welcome back, guys. Look at that swagger. Listen, over half the competition has gone. Now we're going to the next level. The first step starts right now. Because for today's challenge, you'll all be working with an ingredient that can be found on a menu of a three Michelin star restaurant or the plate of a three-year-old at home. And trust me, I have both. Cheese. Cheese. Hey. I am a huge cheese lover. I love Gouda, I love Brie, I love all the cheeses. I don't discriminate against cheese. There's almost 2,000 varieties of cheese, and they all behave in different ways when cooked. So don't have a meltdown <laughs> if you're faced with a cheese you're unfamiliar with. Pairing cheeses with protein sounds easy, right? But in reality, it takes a lot of skill and finesse. Now, listen carefully. You must grab one protein and at least one variety of cheese. Team Arrington, we've got more chefs left in this competition than any other team. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Clearly, we are the team to beat, right? Yes. Nuri. Yes, Chef. Chef Stretch, best dish of the day? And now you have that time token? That's Chef, right here in my pocket. It's 250 grand and a year mentorships from the three most amazing chefs in the world. I mean, someone might be getting sabotaged. Watch out. Nori, now you have to make a big decision. You can decide to keep the time token, guaranteeing a 10 second head start to grab ingredients from the platform, or you can take 10 seconds away from any other chef. Before you decide, Let's talk about the threats in this competition. Where are they coming from? Chef Tucker and Chef Pilar. That's a compliment, actually. Thank you. But it's only one token, Chef. I can't use it against both. Please don't come for me. This is not a team sport. When I think about the strategy of this, mm -hmm. to me, the bigger impact, I'm getting goosebumps when I say it, is taking away time from you from Naisha, from oh. whoever I'm competing oh. against. What, five seconds each or 10 seconds from No, 10 Naisha. seconds, do I have to choose? Yeah, of course you have to see it. What would you do? I'm taking 10 seconds from Gordon. <laughs> Woo! Sabotage is real. Nuri, time for the decision. Are you keeping the time for yourself or are you taking it from someone else? I'm keeping the time for myself, Chef. The extra 10 seconds will allow me to have first grab and I'll really analyze or even use five seconds to bring my dish to life at the platform with no other chefs down my back. I respect that decision. What I'm expecting from that decision is a next level dish beyond belief. It's a big plus when you've got a time token. When the competition starts to narrow down the way it's doing, every little advantage is game changing. 10 seconds is huge, especially standing in front of that platform. Okay guys, Omi, Nuri, Tucker, and Shay, because you cooked the best dishes last time, you're in that top kitchen. Head to the elevators. I'll see you soon. Tucker, don't worry about his 10 seconds. They better worry, Chef. Mama, they got no selfie. Say cheese. Say cheese. Okay. Woo! Chris, Michelle, Pilar, I'll be with you on the middle level. Let's go. Let's go, Pilar. Got you, Chef. Got you, too. All righty, here we go. 
We got Chef Ramsay in the kitchen. I'm super excited about this. He's like Gandalf, big white beard sort of level of wisdom, you know? The guy's an absolute animal. I love it. Let's go. It's a good kitchen right here. I'm gonna take a risk today. All right, Marine Teeny, in the basement. We're gonna get out of there today. Yeah, yes, sir. We have to do better. Head to the elevator. I'll see you in the basement in a minute. I'm feeling blessed that I'm still here. I could have gone home last challenge, but I just want to show the mentors I can level up. Good luck. Have fun. Thank you. Right. Wow, what a greeting. Wow, it's just the three of us. It means the competition's getting real. OK, we good? It's a big one today. A really big one. Yes, yeah, Chef. I think it's absolutely hilarious that I'm getting used to literally cooking in the kitchen with Gordon Ramsay. Oh, hey, Gordon. What's up? I'm really excited to be up here with members from Team Arrington. Go, team! This is exciting. I've seen them cook on every single level, and we're back here at the top level together again. Line up, line up. Uh, Blaze, happy in the basement, kid? Oh, my gosh. I love the lighting down here, yeah. Gordon. Would you have a pair of slippers down there? It's getting heated, right? Unbelievable. Let's go, let's go. Michelle, mm -hmm. don't you dare f that crap. I will. Yes? I'm going in. OK, when it goes green, only Nuri's going. Nuri, you have 10 seconds, and then everyone else will go. I'm waiting on the wall, ready to be released like a dog in his cage. Platform is on the move. Go. <laughs> Nuri goes sprinting ahead. I see him grabbing a lobster. It is torture watching him take whatever he wants and knowing we can't go yet. I'm sure you're being intentional with your grab. Breaking down a whole lobster in 40 minutes, I mean, that's bold. That's a bold move. Not everybody can do that. Three, two, one. Go, guys, go, go. When they said cheese is the challenge, I was like, my ricotta gnocchi slaps. I run over there, grab the filet mignon, and I see that there's ricotta. And of course, there's parmigiano reggiano. So I'm hoping to create a next level dish. Come on, team. Let's do this. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 30 seconds, guys. What is this? Finish? Anything coming over, coming over. Go, 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 Chris was a little pushing a little bit. Have some manners. I'm not saying you have to say ladies first, but it's three of us at the platform. One more grab. Come on, one more grab. One more grab. Well done. Well done. Well done. Go. OK, not much left. Not much left on the protein. Ooh. Pork, lamb, two porks and a lamb. There's not a lot of cheeses left on the platform. I'm trying to look for goat cheese. I don't see goat cheese, but I see Parmesan. I know how to work with Parmesan. And I see Valentina, so I grab it. I'm like, I'm going to make it work somehow. You can grab it, you got it. You can grab it, you can use it. Good job. 40 minutes starts now. Oh, look at all this equipment in here. The possibilities. The possibilities. The possibilities. <laughs> Tucker, you got a filet mignon. So cheese is being incorporated. I'm going to make gnocchi with my ricotta. OK. I'm using the ricotta and the parm double Perfect. cheese. Perfect. What do we got? I'm going to do a lobster linguine pasta, chef. I'm going to make a bechamel cheese sauce. Yum. You had those 10 extra seconds. You know we're going to be looking at your dish extra hard. Do you feel like there's a target on your back? Definitely, but I'm not worried, chef. I'm feeling comfortable. I cook lobster pasta at home all the time. I'm feeling good. It's time to bring it now, baby. Hi, Shay, chef. My love. How are you? What'd you grab? OK, I grabbed a ribeye and gorgonzola. I know yep. steak and blue cheese, delicious. Oh, love that. Classic pairing. Steak and mac and cheese. That would be my final meal. Beautiful. Nothing better. A little kimchi mac and cheese. Wow, how progressive I'm of you. I'm a little worried about the gorgonzola and the kimchi, but yeah, I'm going to try to right? tone each one. Just make sure you keep tasting. Yes, chef. Tell me about what we have here. I'm making a baked shrimp mac okay. and cheese. So is a mac and cheese a staple dish in your household? Yes, it is. I've never made this dish with shrimp, so I don't know what this is going to be like today. Right, Pilar. Yes, chef. Tell me, what did you grab? I grabbed chicken breast with some breast. Um, goat cheese. I'm going to stuff it with the spinach and tomatoes. It's going to top up the pull off in 40 minutes. Roll it or yes. fold I'm going to roll it. Poach it first. Poach it first, and then I'm going to sear it off, chef, okay, to love get that it idea. some color. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, I feel good about love this that. one. <laughs>
Right, Chris, what'd you grab? I got fingerling potatoes, shallots, Love I that. got telegio, and uh, fontina. Good, and protein, what'd you get? Protein, veal, sharp loin, Huge. right there, chef. That's money right there. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen you cook lots before, but I'm loving this idea, okay? What's the dream? The dream is I have a private chef business out in Florida mm -hmm. that right now I've just kind of been taking all the skills that I learned in New York and just find them for yeah. anyone who's got enough money to pay me to cook for them. Laying down that foundation. Yeah. Yeah? Something awesome is going to happen from all this. A new version of me is going to step out into the culinary world when I get back home to Florida. I'll be even more of a force to be reckoned with. Here we go. Right, Michelle, what did you grab? Camembert, mm, parmesan, salmon, fennel. Is that it? No other ingredients? That's it. How can you just grab three things? Fennel, salmon, and two cheese. It was just like I blinked my eyes and suddenly I'm looking down at this array of ingredients that like really don't make any sense. Why did you go for the minimalistic grab? At this stage of the competition, there's only nine of you left, and they're grabbing ferociously now. You got a tough one there. I do. I wouldn't grab an oily fish, you know, with two cheesies. Wow. The worst is that I swore to my mentor, like, seconds before, don't you worry, Chef Ramsay, I got this. And I get, like, four things, and they're all fat. Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. Yes. Oh, boy. She grabs salmon, which is the worst protein to go with cheese. I have 1,000% up this grab. So, Michelle, how can you just grab three things? Fennel, salmon, and two cheese. I think I was so focused on those cheeses that I wasn't thinking about the other elements. Michelle, we can't cook unless we've got ingredients. Marine, what are we making? An enchilada with a tikka masala sauce. I think that's going to work really, really well here with the brisket. There's paneer-like cheeses in yeah. the Mexican cuisine world as well, right? Right, so, right. So like, this is a great fusion. What's your ultimate dream here? Like, you win this thing, what are you going to do? I want to open up a pop-up in Brooklyn that okay. incorporates all of my favorite ingredients and dishes and to eventually have a cookbook for home cooks. Have you named your future restaurant yet? I think Rini's. That's my nickname. Rini's. Everyone knows me by Rini. So this is our first dish for Rini's. Right Amazing here, right chef. now, it starts right wow. here. Wow, that helps a lot. Okay. I love that. Let's make that restaurant today. Let's okay. do it. Let's go, let's go. All right, teeny. Orzo cauliflower lamb, perfect combination. Truffles will work. What cheese did we grab? You got Fontina and... Parmesan. I love what you just did. I just like cheese, but I also have never tried it before. No, but you have to taste it. You and I started in fast food. Yeah. Can you believe that? No. I didn't even know I was going to graduate high school, so... Oh, my gosh. Well, you and me both. We have a lot of similarities. I was at a cash register. I was making patties. We have humble beginnings, right? Yeah. But look where we're at now. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Yes, sir. You ever heard that lyric? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm 21. <laughs> I'm surprised you know that. Oh! America's here for it. Let's go, Teeny. Sweating shallots down. Yes, sir. Beauty, beauty, beauty. It's starting to let the sauce reduce, and okay. then I'm going to add the flavors. Excellent. Into it. Thank you, chef. Guide it. Drive that car, baby. Smart working on the cutting board so you can just clear that away right away. We oui, chef. So you are a culinary school teacher? Yeah, Tell me chef. about that. So um, I used to work in Michelin kitchens. When the pandemic hit, we all found ourselves without any jobs. And wow. I teach classes now, and it's amazingly fun. My gastronomy gangsters, I hope, are cheering me on out there. It's one of my favorite things to do, chef. I love teaching them tricks. I love seeing them when they create a gangster dish of their own. So what's the sauce going to be? We're doing a uh, lemon beurre blanc, chef. OK, lemon beurre blanc. Going to be a little fennel in there, some onion and garlic. Oh, I see it. All day, baby. Keep pushing. Cleaning them out? Yes. Nice. How do you feel to have come this far in this competition? Did you anticipate this? You know, Chef, I came here ready. My husband right now is not able to work because he is disabled. Wow. Um, and so I've been holding down the household by myself. What a woman. My husband and I, we've had some hardships. He was diagnosed with a degenerative bone disease. And it's been a struggle, and it's been a journey. And I'm channeling all of that, and that's coming with me into this competition. Being able to win this would mean so much to my family. So you know you're winning every day that you're here, right? Yes, thank you, Chef. Keep going, okay? Thank you, Chef. Okay, guys, it's time for the mid-round mayhem. What goes well with cheese? Cured meat. Grab what you need to elevate your dish. Ten seconds, okay? Pancetta, perfect. Yep, good. Good job, good job. We got meats. I'm thinking I don't necessarily need another salty element in this dish. I already have a really salty gorgonzola, the salty kimchi, and my only hope is that they don't 
compete with each other. Cured meats, let's go, guys. Get what you need to make your dishes absolutely shine. Now, Michelle, grab one cured meat. Think about it. I see Parma ham. I'm taking that. And that I realize that this is another fat. We're going to have some people going into cardiac arrest over here. It's time for a mid-round mayhem. You have to work one item into your plate. Take cheese to the next level. Four seconds. Three, two, one. What do you got? Chorizo. OK. Yes. I'm Muslim. I don't cook pork. I don't eat pork. So this is going to be a tough one. <laughs> the chorizo, I think, works, right? Yeah, I think Because the chorizo, so too. that's going to be perfect for this, this enchilada. Chef, would you be able to taste the chorizo sauce sure. for me as I don't yeah. eat pork? Yeah, yeah, of course. 16 minutes remain. Are you on track? Is everything that you wanted to do happening? Keep it together. Right, uh, Pilar, I've got to get this thing rolled, girl. Yeah, what chef. are you thinking? About to roll it right now, Chef. Mm -hmm. I am worried about your time, Pilar. I'm worried that Chef Ramsay is worried about my timing. I need perfect timing on the poach, and I need perfect timing on the sear. Should I put another piece to close that little hole? Oh, sure enough. You wait to put that on at the end. Yeah. Get that thing poached. Yes, Chef. Yeah? Thank you. You're underway now, yes? Thank you, Chef. How are you going to balance the flavor of the kimchi and the gorgonzola? What's in your mind? I just try to do just enough kimchi to give it that tang without doing too much, because I think too much will be sure. a little weird. OK, so you had an intention with your grab. Of course I did. Of course he does. I always have intentions. Of course intentions. he does. A lot of tanginess, a lot of funkiness. We like the funk. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yes, Chef. What did we grab in the mid-round mayhem? Prosciutto. And how are you incorporating that into your dish? So that's going to bake in the oven so it gets nice and crisp along with my mac and cheese. So it's a two for one. Wow. I make mac and cheese at home every Sunday dinner. I never make it with shrimp. Never mind adding prosciutto, although adding all these things together sounds really great in my head. Right, young man, don't take that sauce too rich because you've got the richness of the cream. Right, right. Okay, so we're finishing strong now because you've got the makings of a next level dish here, okay? Go, chef. Ooh. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good about this sauce, chef. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. Delicious. Okay, but look at me. I need more than a freaking sauce. I know. Okay. Right, how are you feeling? Feeling good, chef. Just okay, good. To be ready. Beautiful. You got this. Thank Come. you, chef. Take your time. Okay. If you're uncertain, hey, I'm here to help. Yes, Ask chef. me, yes? Heard. Seven minutes to go. Good. So, put that down for two seconds. Yeah, and just touch that there. Okay, that's undercooked. Got it. Yeah, back in. Michelle, salmon still uncooked. I haven't come this far with you, girl. You're right, to chef. To fall flat. Let's go. Push, I'm pushing. Chef Ramsay is on my ass. If I serve raw salmon to the mentors, I am 100% going to elimination. Look at me. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. Get your salmon in the pan now. It's going in now. Now. Come on, Michelle. We've been on this journey since day one. Yes, we You're have. the only one who hasn't got a protein cooked here. You've got to go, gal. OK? It's ready. Don't yes, tell chef. me it's ready, because it's raw. How's it tasting? It's tasting amazing happy? to me, chef. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Good. Make it come to life. Yes, chef, sure I got it's you. exactly what you want. Yes, chef. Don't rush this now. That slice is crucial. Let the knife do the work, otherwise you're going to burst that open, OK? Yes, chef. Will you walk around with salmon like that, girl? You're going to drop it, please. Beautiful. Making beautiful. It's a proper looking plate for this restaurant that we're opening up in Brooklyn in three years. That's right, I said we. Now I'm, now I'm an investor all of a sudden. One minute left. Let's go. Precision and excellence. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Plate it like you care. Come on, guys. Platform's on this way. Platform's gone downstairs. Well, let's go, let's go, let's go. Platform's here. Platform's here. Last looks. Okay, clean it up. Yeah, wipe the wipe the plate. Five seconds left. Feeling good. I'm feeling good. Let's go. Good job. Okay, home straight. Yes. Come on, we gotta go. Let's go, guys. Come on, Michelle. Ten seconds, go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Chris, going. We gotta go. Behind gotta you, go. Michelle. Let's go. Three, two, one. Well done. Well done. Well done. Yes. Good job, Nick. Oh, oh. Good.
Platform's here. Go, guys, go, go. Come on, guys. Every dish on the platform. What of that ballet service? Wow. We're on the plate, Mary. Nice level shot. Yes. Yes. Going into judging today, I know that I have the most bizarre array of ingredients on this dish, but I would like cut my arm off not to go to the elimination challenge. Uh, all of you, well done. The brief was incorporating cheese across a protein. Sounds easy. It's one of the most difficult things to do. Why? The amount of fat a cheese holds, the season, the texture. Some cheeses don't work in sauces. So do you season with the cheese or do you add salt and the cheese? That's a very fine line. Shall we taste? Please. Nisha, yes, please. please. OK, starting with the dishes from the top floor. Mm -hmm. First up, we have a lobster pasta wow. with a frico, or crispy cheese, with roasted tomatoes. I'm so sorry, but where's the lobster? No, no, yeah. mm. Tough on this one. Those cheeses don't really resonate with lobster. Uh, I'm struggling to find lobster because it's absolutely swimming in an abundance of pasta. So. That is underwhelming for me. Yeah, for me, it reads a little bit family style. And although the dish, of course, is meant to be creamy, I'm looking for something to break up all those deep, salty, creamy flavors. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Damn, man, ah! Next up, we have a filet of beef. This is served with a gnocchi. I mean, gnocchi is one of those things that's easy to make bad. It's hard to make good. And in this amount of time, that gnocchi is stellar. That beautiful. Really beautiful. Visually, next level. To cook a beautiful filet in a short amount of time, it shows incredible technique. Great job. Let's go. Girl power again. Next up, we have a sharp cheddar mac and cheese with a shrimp and crispy prosciutto. Yeah, it's hard. Uh, shrimp is delicious. I love the saltiness of the uh, charcuterie. It's just not gelling. It's just not coming together as a mac and cheese does. It has to become overcooked to become flavoursome, and there's no cooking in here. It's like it's been put together in the last two minutes and stuck in the oven. I'm sorry. For me, mac and cheese has got to be ooey and gooey or ooey, gooey, stretchy and chewy, and I'm not getting that. I had an off day. There's so much pressure. Lastly, we have a ribeye. This has a uh, gorgonzola and mushroom sauce with a gorgonzola and kimchi mac and cheese. This looks like it's sort of badly presented. Such a shame, protein's a little bit off. The sauce is strong, oh my god. What a shame. It's never good when Gordon says, what a shame. I'm missing the kimchi. I was really looking forward to that, and um, unfortunately, the gorgonzola is really overpowering. I am preparing myself for an elimination challenge. <sighs> Hoping it doesn't come to that. Shall we uh, move to the middle floor? So this was a tight grab. Uh, salmon, the most difficult protein to get with cheese. And it's done with a little uh, croquette of camembert. Bad ingredients, but you picked them. Is it raw? <laughs> Is it raw? Tough call getting that working because it's, it's sort of overkill with the fat and the oily fish, but the flavors are there. Good job. I would have stayed away from salmon. You look at it and you're like, this is going to be odd, but it works. This is a beautiful showcasing of how to balance those flavors and textures. Really exciting to eat and really pretty to look at. I am so relieved the salmon is cooked and it's cooked beautifully and they like the flavors. This one is a chicken ballantine, ghost cheese and Parmesan in the middle. The tenacity to make a ballantine. I mean, that shows incredible technique and confidence. This dish just screams prowess. Someone that's moving with such intent. It's exceptional. Exceptional. Especially after the past two cooks. Makes me feel exceptional. <laughs> this is a pan-seared oven roasted veal chop, sat with a little gratin. 
Veal is cooked beautifully, still juicy, great color. Maybe a little bit better on the sauce work, right? So that it just doesn't run all over the place um, to kind of bring it to the next level, but a classic dish. Shall we head to the basement? Yeah. We'll start with the rack of lamb with a fontina, black truffle, and Parmesan orzo. Lamb for me needs another minute. Um, the orzo is congealed and grainy, which is a shame. I mean, to me, this is a smart dish. I like the lamb cooked this way, but we're looking for something that can break up the saltiness and the creaminess, some sort of a pickle, sort of wake this dish up a little bit more on your palate. Okay, lastly, we have a brisket, paneer, and chorizo wow. enchilada plate. Um, the brisket's delicious. It's just the presentation. For me, this sauce feels like it was only seasoned at the end, and every opportunity is an opportunity for flavor through the process. And right now, we need to separate the good from the average. Uh, all of you, please, uh, give us a moment. I just need them to rip off the band-aid and go in and Yeah, back. I just need to know or not. That's tough. You okay. I wasn't blown away with the lobster. It just felt clumsy. That lobster dish was the one that had an extra 10 seconds to conceptualize and grab ingredients, and that's what we received. Hey, okay. Think about how Nuri feels. He got 10 seconds ahead of everybody at the crowd. Still messed up in the top kitchen. Uh, shrimp, mac and cheese. Nothing was jelly. That's a thing. It tasted like a side, but it was also plated like a side. Can we talk about the sauce and that ribeye? That was weird. The color? Yeah. I didn't get like the, the good funk that I wanted from the gorgonzola. No, the gorgonzola but in the same beautiful. time, it was too much of it. Let's talk about the enchiladas. It needs to have a little bit more elegance. It was definitely congealed. I, I appreciate the sauce, but yeah. I felt compartmentalized. I like the cheese. That, that, the cheese wasn't the stuff. Sure. Honestly, we have to talk about the, the best dish of the night. Whoever made the, the gnocchi. You see how velvety that cheese sauce was? Yeah. Mind blowing. We talk about the balancing with the goat cheese and the spinach and the cheesy grits. For me, I feel like that's the way to elevate a chicken breast, right? Yes. Is it the gnocchi or is it that balancing? This is a tough one. I'm gonna have to say the balancing for me, that is the makings of a next level chef. I totally, totally disagree with you. I mean, the gnocchi themselves was just an absolute stunner. But is it really that difficult to make steak and potatoes next level? Deliberation in amongst the judges is getting feisty. It's fine margins now, and that just shows you this competition is getting dialed in. We're in agreement. We're not in agreement, but I think we're are where we are. We're set. This has been a tough ordeal. We do have two outstanding dishes tonight that were definitely next level. The first was the filet mignon with a gnocchi. Tucker, well done, young lady. Thank you. The second dish was the chicken ballantine. Yeah. Now, we have a time token to give away. Unfortunately, only one of you will receive it. This split went to a 2-1 vote. This time token goes to... Pala. Good job, Pete. Well done, girl. Top dish of the day! I feel like I'm back to where I belong, at the top of the pack. Okay, now for the hard part. Tonight, there were three dishes that were not next level cheese inspired dishes, and we'll be going into the elimination cook off. The first was <sighs> the spaghetti and lobster. Nuri, I don't know what to say, young man. I thought. You were grabbing a second token tonight. You gotta get it together. Uh, putting out a dish that's not visually beautiful, it doesn't all the way make sense, that's not gonna cut it. With 10 seconds up your sleeve tonight, honestly, we were all expecting fireworks. What a shame. <sighs> I'm 
I'm not feeling good. The second dish headed to the elimination tonight is... the ribeye with that super strong gorgonzola sauce. It was so pungent and so strong, it did not make sense. I have been in elimination before. Let the best dish win. <sighs> the last dish will be headed to the elimination tonight is the mac and cheese with shrimp. Omi, this dish just didn't gel. You need to raise your game. Now I have to strap on my boots and get ready for this next 30 minutes. Pilar, Tucker, both of you will be cooking on the top level in the next challenge. You can head back to the lounge. Thank you, chef. Thank you. Enjoy. Well done, ladies. For years, I've been practicing putting my all into what I do and what I love, and I'm so glad that it's showing up on the plate here for these mentors. Michelle, Chris, Marine, and Tini, you've made your way to the middle level. Well done. Please head to the elevator. Uh, chef. Thank, Thank you, you, chefs. Thank you. I live to see another day. I look out here, and all I can see is Team Arrington. I go from flying high with four of my amazing mentees, standing tall and proud, to having to send one of three home. I 100% take that personally. Tonight, you will have 30 minutes to create a dish featuring nuts. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. For one of you, it's the last 30 minutes here. Please, leave it all upstairs. Understood? Yes, yes chef. chef. Where I come from, we don't get opportunities like this at all, ever in life. This will be my first time in elimination, so I'm gonna keep pushing, I'm gonna keep fighting, because I'm not ready to go home. I'm ready to be the next level chef. Head to the elevators, and I'll meet you up there shortly. Good luck, all three. Good luck, chefs. Thank, Thank you, chef. Go. Thank Thank you. Let's go, guys. This is the first time being in elimination. A quarter of a million dollars is at stake here. I've been playing really nice up until now. Being in this elimination, I'm not gonna be as nice. I'm not going out without a fight. How we feeling? Good, Chef. Ready, Chef. Good. It's quiet in here. It's getting intense. How's it feel to have the rest of your team in the elimination this is right now? so weird. Nori, I know this is your first time in this elimination. Omi, same thing. You've seen how it works. Don't let the nerves get to you. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Shay's been in elimination, though. He has. Uh, he brought it. He did. He did. I've done this before. I can do it again. OK, 30 minutes to create a nut-inspired dish. Hands on the elevator, please. Let's go, guys. My husband and I, we are conquerors. We fight. We don't give up easy. And that's coming with me into this cook-off. Platform's here. Show these other chefs why we belong in this competition. Go. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. I sprint to the platform. I want to grab first pick. I grab halibut. Let's go, Shay. You got this. Stretch gets the halibut, and I'm looking. There's a pork chop and a chicken breast. I really want the pork chop. Homie grabs the pork chop. Here I am with this chicken breast. <sighs> Nuri, what did we grab? Um, I'm going to do a almond crusted um, halibut, yep. and then a parsnip puree. Excellent. You need more liquid in there, chef. All right, chef. Get this warm pan back. Put it down. You have to cook or not cook. It's not doing anything in the air. All right, chef. Put more cream in so you leave yourself some options. Doesn't mean you have to use all of it. You know what I mean? Yes, chef. Look at me. I need you to focus, OK? Right. Don't cook nervous. What's going on? Nothing. I'm you good, got chef. This. I know you are. Adapting over Nori. Come, Shay. Come on, buddy. Let's go. I got you, chef. The judges' feedback from earlier today is definitely playing in my mind. It's giving me even more pressure and stress. I just got to make sure I don't psych myself out. Tell me, tell me about your dish. Chef, I want to make a peanut encrusted pork chop and a butternut squash puree. OK, the butternut squash is going to take the longest to cook. So how are you planning to cook that? Um, I'm going to boil it first. OK, so let's get that peeled. Let's get it cooking. Butternut squash, oh, damn, in 30 minutes? That's a lot. Google, you better start prepping that right now. Highlight the nut. 
Multitask, Shay. Yep. There you go. Thanks, buddy. What's the plan here? I'm making a pesto with a little Parmesan cream sauce for pasta. How are you planning to stick the nuts to the protein? Flour, egg, breadcrumbs, and nuts. Egg's going to be important, right? Yes, chef. Okay. Even toast. I'm nice very, even toast. Yes. I'm known for burning nuts, so don't I don't do want that. to do don't, that. Just today. don't do that, okay? Let's go, Mommy. And don't forget, you're only making one plate, so you don't need a ton, you know what I mean? Fifteen minutes gone, guys. Shay, you all right, bud? I'm good, thanks. Make sure that chicken's cooked, right? You don't want the crust to burn before the protein's cooked, right? Bird chef, yes. Be careful. When are you planning to drop your pork stock, my love? As soon as I encrust it right now. Homie, my love, you need to move faster. I'm so concerned for you. This needs to cook faster. So we need to either cover it or add more liquid. Yes, chef. Don't repeat your steps. Do it once and be done with it, okay? Don't overthink it. Everything just freezes. Come on. I'm not ready to go home. My boys are rooting for me hard, hard. I'm a fighter. I've always been a fighter. Guys, 20 minutes down. 10 minutes left, 10 minutes. Wow. Great flavor here, this is beautiful. This is taking me on a journey, right? Yes, you know sir. what you're doing. Yes, sir. You know what you're doing. Yes, sir. Let it flow. Yeah, this is not working for me. My heart sinks. The crust is falling off. Oh. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that. Adjust. Don't get hung up on it. Good job. I'm literally painting this egg wash on the chicken and patting the crust back on. I have never done anything like this before. I don't know if this is gonna work. That's terrible. What am I doing? Sure you're gonna be able to save this, Chef? I'm, I'm sure trying my best. Yes, Chef. Believe in yourself. I do. I know you do. I've seen Say it. Say with your chest, Shay. <laughs> Where'd you learn that? <laughs> Five minutes left, guys. You have this beautiful butternut squash here, right? Yes. Pan roasted, got that beautiful bird noisette. Brown butter, mm. right? Use the elements that you have, Chef. Yes, Chef. Halibut is out. Yes, Chef, rested. I don't know why you use the smallest bowl in the kitchen, Chef. Set yourself up for success. Yes, Chef. I know I'm pushing you a lot, but I know you can do it. You yes, just chef. gotta clear the path in your mind. Hurry, Chef. Let's go. Come on, Shay. Let's get this protein down, yes? Yes, Chef. Uh... Come on, come on. 45 seconds. Shay, where's your plate? Right here. Beautiful, Omi. Watch your squash. Be nice, be nice, be nice. Give sauce on there. 10, 9, Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Heads up, heads up, heads up. Okay. Naisha, how was that? Intense. Yeah. They cooked their hearts out. Well done. Three good looking dishes. Let's start with the fish, please. So here we have an almond crusted halibut with green bean almondine and a parsnip puree. The fish is cooked beautifully. Let's get that clear. And it's a tough one to cook fish and get a crust on there as well at the same time. So that shows a great level of skill, whoever executed that. Um, parsnip puree, slightly strange with something as delicate as halibut. I love the fact that the almonds aren't burnt. It's so easy to go from raw to burnt. Love the citrus note. Even though it's got the parsnips, it sort of brightens it up. Next, we have a pistachio crusted chicken breast, a creamy pesto sauce, and a salad of arugula and heirloom tomato. How's that chicken cooked? Is she beautiful, juicy? Um, I love the presentation. It's simple. And it's sort of letting the ingredients speak volumes. Chicken is slight dry. It's about two minutes over. Yeah, to me, the crust is sort of falling off of the chicken and not getting that sauce sort of sticking to that. But I love the fact that you have this complete dish. You have the acidity of the salad. Uh, it, it looks good. OK, our last dish is a peanut crusted pork chop. This has a pomegranate apple compote with roasted butternut squash. It's cooked beautifully. Wow. 
peanuts, apples work really, really well here. And I love that we have the butternut squash in two varieties. You have a lot of texture. I like this dish. Um, I just don't like the puree on top of it. Uh oh. oh. A chop like that deserves more love at the end, so love the peanuts. I'm not a big fan of the puree. Okay, Richard, please, I'm going to start with you. Which dish would you eliminate this evening? To me, it's going to come down to the use of nuts and whether that played into the dish in the correct way. That was the challenge. The dish that I'm eliminating is the pistachio chicken. Gordon, please, same question. Which dish will you eliminate tonight? Tough on Naisha, um, especially when they're all uh, mentees uh, from your team. First off, that's the most outstanding dish tonight, the halibut, hands down. So that person is not going home. <sighs> Pork or chicken, Naisha is very, very, very hard to separate. No one deserves to go home here. The dish I'm going to eliminate is is the chicken encrusted with pistachio. That dish was cooked by Shay. Jeez. Damn. Shay, I'm sorry. It's okay, chef. You've cooked so brilliantly. Thank you so much for being the most amazing mentor. This experience was the most whirlwind of my life. I love each and every one of these people. I'm gonna be cheering you all on. Obviously, it would have been cool to win $250,000. Keep your head in the catch for your daughter. I'm sad to be leaving this competition and all these people, but it has been such a ride. Chefs, thank you so much. Take thank care, My Jay. pleasure. Take Good care. Job. I'm going home with my head held high. I won so much in experiences here, and I just feel lucky to have had this opportunity. Wow. We just sent home a very good chef. Nuri, I mean, great job, a really good job. The next time we see you, you're in for a wake up. Good night. Good night, chef. Thank you, chef. <sighs> Omi, puree underneath. <laughs> puree underneath, puree underneath. Next time on Next Level Chef. For your next challenge, you'll all have 40 minutes to create a next level fried entree. Ah. Hola. Big decision. Do you take 10 seconds away from one of your competitors? My decision is to use it against one of my competitors today, Chef. What's going on in the basement? We're getting out of here is what's happening. Do not screw this up. Let's go. Three, two, one. On the back of that performance, this whole competition is blown wide open.